Hello, it is Elle, and I am going to regret making this video. Okay, not really, but basically I'm just going to be going through and showing you guys my whole unread TBR. I've seen a lot of people do this, and I hadn't considered doing it, but I only, you guys only get to see like hints of the books on my TBR kind of based on TBR videos if I choose to make them. So what I want is for you to hopefully watch this <laughs> and then I want you to tell me which ones you liked, which ones you hated, which ones you think I should prioritize. If you have a sense of my taste yet, which ones you think I should just get rid of. Um, I'm not married to all of these and um, I have a lot of books um, and I won't get to all the books in all of the time. It is like an ex existential crisis I have on the regular things that maybe you want to see themed vlogs for that's something that i have done twice now um i read like obama and i did like a 24 hour these weren't my own books that i owned but a 24 hour reading vlog where i read as many um, amazon original stories as i could i will link those in places i would never read themed like i would never i'm sorry it is so fucking hot right now um, I live in a place with winter and I don't acclimate well when it starts getting warm out so it's probably only 80 degrees but I'm like dying. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, I, um, I, I do remember. I would never do themed reading on my own. It's something I had never done before I started a booktube channel but I really like themed reading content so if you could see my books and you see any themes that you think I should explore um, and do like a vlog talking about those types of books then just let me know. Things about my book collection. I'm not showing you in any particular order. My books are not in any particular order on my shelves. I kind of rearrange them all the time so we're not going by genre. We're not going by author name. I'm sorry for people who <laughs> who are very particular about how they organize them. I am not. So other things. I have some books by some authors who I know to be problematic. I might own books by authors I don't know to be problematic. For the books I've unread, and I know the authors to be problematic, I haven't completely decided if I'm going to keep them. I am teetering on the line. Um, one of those is Chim Chim Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, um, David Foster Wallace. Uh, I, I just want to be mindful when I'm showing you these. Um, I, I kind of choose which books I talk about on my channel, and if I do talk about a author I know that has had problematic behavior. Again, I am for people changing um, and growing and learning. I think that you should always give people an opportunity to do that. I own the books. I bought them all used, so they did not get any profits. But I don't always want to talk about books that I read um, by maybe controversial authors if I don't have much of an opinion on the book because I don't really, I mean, my channel is small at this point, um, but I don't really want to promote them. But by doing this, I will be, because I'm showing you every book I have unread. So long-winded way of saying that, I have awareness about that. If you want to buddy read any of these that I have on my unread shelves, also let me know. We'll do a count of all the books. I have a list of all the books I have unread. I have a number. You will see later on that my number is kind of a cheat. So, yeah, we will just start it now. Grimm's Fairy Tales, The Yellow Birds, A God in Ruins, The Godfather, How to Train a Wild Elephant, and Other Adventures in Mindfulness, Florence in Ecstasy, The Death and Life of Great American Cities, A Brief History of Seven Killings, Slade House, The Namesake, To the Bright Edge of the World, Fates and Furies, Tender Morsels, Ghostwritten, Infinite Jest, Wolf in White Van, 1Q84, this is a bind up. It's all one book, but it is in three separate physical books. Jane Eyre, The Red Tent, History of Wolves, The Long Stare, The Heart, Number Nine Dream, All the Pretty Horses, 
Americana, Desert Solitaire, The Metamorphosis, Perdido Street Station, The Goldfinch, What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours, Kindred, The God of Small Things, March, From the Mouth of the Whale, Tipping the Velvet, The Tiger's Wife, The Dream Blood Duology of Sand and Malice Made, With Blood Upon the Sand, A Veil of Spears, Sea of Poppies, River of Smoke, Flood of Fire. When Everything Changed, The Amazing Journey of American Women from 1960 to the Present. The Heart's Invisible Furies, My Absolute Darling, O Albany. The Problem with Work, Feminism, Marxism, Anti-Work Politics, and Post-Work Imaginaries. The Zero Waste Solution, Untrashing the Planet One Community at a Time. Errantry, Strange Stories. The Paper Man breaks in the chain what immigrant workers can teach America about democracy. The Coffee Trader, Corelli's Mandolin, Life After Life, Brown Girl, Brown Stone, State of Siege, Telegraph Avenue, Set This House in Order, Brown Girl in the Ring, Frequency, The Power of Personal Vibration, Walkable City, How Downtown Can Save America One Step at a Time, The Sparrow, Clan of the Cave Bear, The Mammoth Hunters, The Shelters of Stone, The Plains of Passage, The Valley of Horses, Before the Feast, Nervous Conditions, Seize the Day, Three Scenarios in Which Hana Sasaki Grows a Tail, Genocidal Love, A Life After Residential School, Finding Flow, The Psychology of Engagement with Everyday Life, Redwall, The Essex Serpent, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, 100 Years of Solitude, Love Medicine, Tracks, Bel Canto, Mr. Fox, A General Theory of Oblivion, Affinity, Invitation to a Beheading, What the Chickadee Knows, Poems in Ashinabawin and English, A Room of One's Own, A Taste of Honey, Halaladin, A Portrayal of His Incursion, Leave the World Behind, Melma, The Lost Daughter Collective, Memoirs of a Porcupine, Swimming Home, Everyone Knows You Go Home, Sin is a Puppy That Follows You Home, that is pretty funny. I didn't notice this, but these were all sitting next to each other on my bookshelves, and they all have home in the title. God Dies by the Nile, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell, The Last Brother, Last Night in New, Familiar Thing, The Pendragon Legend, Narcopolis, Through the Ark of the Rainforest, The Story of a Goat, the Bastard of Istanbul, The Sympathizer, First They Killed My Father, Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress, Everything I Never Told You, Unaccustomed Earth, A Little Life, Eileen, The Emissary, The Bone People, Pachinko, Salt Houses, As Though She Were Sleeping, Tranquility, Private Life of Mrs. Sharma, Flames, Kintu, Temper, Red at the Bone, The Evolution of Alice, The Mustache, Song of Luino, Song of a Coal, Moccasin Square Garden, The Curious Case of Dasukin's Trousers, The Housekeeper and the Professor, Magic for Beginners, Dombey and Son, The Cloud Spotter's Guide, The Science, History, and Culture of Clouds, Broken Glass Park, The Elegance of the Hedgehog, My Brilliant Friend, Milkman, The Book of Other People, A Manual for Cleaning Women, The Bird King, The Push, Leviathan Wakes, Jade City, The Vanishing Half, the Silence of the Girls, Idaho, A Fist or a Heart, Gutshot, The Door, Donor, American Visa, Love in a Fallen City, The Plague, sounds like it'd be pretty cheerful right now, Passing, Disoriental, Human Acts, I Am the Brother of XX, A Broken Mirror, Pereira Maintains, House of Lee, The Chronicles of Narnia. Now, I know I did read some of these as a child. Um, but I honestly can't totally remember which ones they are, so I just count them all as unread. So, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, The Horse and the bo His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. Okay, so here's the thing with these. I'm kind of a cheater, and I don't count them in my unread books. I consider these a collection that I am planning to get through at some point. But for the purposes of this video, I will count them as unread. So there are 80 in this collection. Um, I don't really want to go through all the names. It's literally 1 through 80 in the, what are these called? The Little Black Classics collection. It, the only ones I've read in recent enough memory that I'm going to constitute them as read are The Beautiful Cassandra which is 
number 33, the yellow wallpaper, which is number 42, and the Communist Manifesto, which is number 20. I did read that in college, and that is it. We'll just mark this as plus how many that I have unread. Okay, friends, those are all my unread books. This is all I have for this video. Yeah, again, comment below if you want to chat about some of these books. Tell me your feelings. Tell me if I should get rid of these. I love a good perch. Tell me if you want to buddy read some of these. Tell me, tell me all your thoughts and feelings. I am curious. Until next time, happy reading.